local researchers discover the alarm clock gene. They're here now to explain how it affects your sleep. The Fox 5 Morning News starts right now. Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. I ever wonder why you wake up in the morning without the annoying sound of an alarm clock? Well, scientists at the Salk Institute in La Jolla, they have an answer. It is called the alarm clock gene. So here to break down uh, why this new discovery may be the key to actually helping solve sleep problems is molecular biologist, Dr. Luciano DiTaccio. Doctor, good morning and thanks for being here. Good morning, thank you for having me. Okay, what is the alarm clock gene? So, um the circadian clock uh, is a biological clock and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a clock, but instead of having uh, cogs and wheels and, and uh, springs, mm -hmm. it actually utilizes genes. Uh, some of these genes get turned on whenever we wake up and, okay. and they, they get turned off whenever we go to bed. Uh, for a while now, we've known how uh, genes got turned off, but we didn't really understand how they got turned on whenever well, how, you wake up. How do they turn on? So we identified a molecular switch that actually turns them on. What's the switch? And it's a, it's a protein called Jared one a Jared one a Yes. Uh, and it's a, it's a, it's a, everybody has it. And it actually helps turn those genes on. And actually, that's how we uh, wake up in the morning. Well, how do those proteins activate? Like, there's some people that just get up at 5 o'clock. Yes, For indeed. example, I get up at 2.15 every morning. Yes, indeed. My protein activates at 2, two o'clock. Usually I'm up like this. Yeah, so, so the circadian clock actually utilizes levels of the clock proteins to actually tell time. Oh. This gene actually produces a small protein that acts like a molecular switch. It turns on the DNA of those genes, and uh, that's how you, you, your, your cell is able to interpret that as time. Okay, so we have a protein. Mm -hmm wakes us up. Mm -hmm. What does this mean now for people that you know, either have so, sleeping problems or don't? So for example, uh, understanding how something works. Now you can actually f f uh, try to think of ways to actually intervene with, uh, with drugs, for example, pharmacological agents. Okay. Uh, so if you can control the clock, you can also control uh, many things. I mean, sleep is one of the things that uh, people associate with, with the circadian clock, but uh, our entire bodies are actually controlled by it. Uh, every physiological process that you have it has a it has a timing if you think about it you uh -huh. wake up in the morning yeah but you also have a time when you're most alert yes there are, there are times when you get hungry mm -hmm. and all this is dictated by the clock so understanding how the clock genes get turned on actually is beneficial not just for sleep but also for, for, a, lot for a lot of things you know how when you get older things just start to break yes indeed Do, does your clock break your so actually it does as you age uh, the circadian clock uh, tends to uh, not work as well it doesn't transmit its information as well to uh, to to genetic programs and other things in your body uh, so that so that you start to actually fragment uh, all your behaviors and and and, and your processes so uh, so understanding how they get turned on for example may help uh, older patients uh, uh, recover from it. Well, what about the people that sleep mm -hmm. during the day and then work at yeah. night? So those people, uh, there are plenty of studies that have shown that they are at higher risk of many things. Like for, what are many things? Like f cancer, for example. Uh, uh, like uh, there, was, there was a couple of studies and they showed that people that do shift work have a higher incidence of cancer. They have uh, metabolic problems, even higher incidence of diabetes. So yeah, this is, uh, in the last few years, we've actually realized that, that the circadian clock is quite important in maintaining good health. All right, doctor, you're gonna come here and give us all this kind of news. You need to break it down and help us now. Cause mm -hmm. we got some people here we have some people at home that yeah. might not be sleeping well or they have you know just hours that were up so what do we do indeed so the first thing is as I said uh uh, understand how the clock works. Okay. That's why basic research is so important. I sure. Mean, if we if we did not have basic research, we would not understand how things work. Okay. And then how do you intervene? Um, in terms of uh, maintaining a schedule, was one of the things that we've realized that uh, that is important. So if you go to bed at mm -hmm. every time the same, seven o'clock, yes, get indeed. up or whatever, then that helps. That helps us, and as well, if you if you stay uh, if, if you actually staying in bed and you have your computer on and you have this light all all, all, all the way that's until that's a no no. That's uh, I would say it's a no-no. <laughs> well, a lot of us do it, but, <laughs> yeah, uh, do. but nonetheless, I mean, it, these are considerations that uh, we've now started to realize are quite important in, the, in our lifestyles that may impact the way that we have uh, good health. I wish we could sleep all the time, all day, every day. Don't we all? 
I wish. Dr. Luciano DiTaccio, uh, thank, thank you. you for being here. We do thank appreciate it. For more information on the Salk Institute, you can go to our website, foxeyesandiego.com. Click the scene on tab. Okay, who am I going to? Okay. Chrissy Russo. Salk Institute, man, you guys do some great work over there, man. That, that's awesome. That's yeah, good but, information. But before you go, I was asking him, too, about, like, um, like kids and stuff and they're in and their kids get affected and kids get affected Russo well I'm uh, sure of course you know I'm reading this book right now baby wise like how to get your baby to go to sleep and all and I've been using it all myself the kids not even born yet in the work right? oh it's amazing I'm always been a good sleeper anyway uh -huh. but now it's even better